Welcome to IBC 2022. It's been three long years since the world's most inspiring content and technology event occurred in Amsterdam. And Broadcast is here in Europe to engage with each other, unlock business opportunities, discover the latest innovations, and explore the exciting world of content. I'm Ashley with Unbroadcast. Joining me is Jeter of Switch.io. Hi. Good morning, Ashley. How are you today? I'm very good, thank good. you. So you have a couple different collaborations here. Um, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, thanks. We're, we're partnered with Everts right behind us um, to bring networking technology to the cloud and to their on-prem broadcast networks that they don't have natively. We're really excited to, to work with them on their monitoring product, uh, Magnum, as well as some other things that we're doing. We're also working with Microsoft. We're a, a core part of their live infrastructure for broadcast. Um, on, on Azure, as well as Telestream, uh, support partners, Cinefilm, and others in the Microsoft infrastructure. And so as far as things going on with the cloud right now, how are you filling in those gaps right now? Well, cloud networks are really great. They do a lot of things, but there are a lot of things that people need to do in various vertical markets that they can't do. And for media, that means things like supporting SMPTE 2110, uncompressed workflows. It means doing SMPTE 2022-7, high availability, redundant paths across cloud networks, as well as supporting basic features like multicast, which we bring to the cloud. And so you're doing that right now and that's not out, it's only done by you, is that right? Yeah, there are various implementations of similar features, but in terms of having a switch architecture, and our product, by the way, is called Cloud Switch. So think of it like a, a software switch that runs on top of cloud networks. Um, and using that switch, we're able to do things that other products can't do. And so what really makes you stand out? The fact that no one else can do the things that we're doing. I mean, the, the idea of having an overlay network isn't new, but being able to provision it in a way that people can take these really hard to do workflows that are really not migrating to the clouds because of the lack of these features, to be able to move them to the clouds is something that's really new. Very good, and can you touch on any bit about what we can expect to see in the near future? Sure, there are other features that are gaps in cloud networks that we're going to be adding over the time, and coincidentally, one of them is time. Precision time protocol, PTP support is required, and we're going to be adding that, as well as um, many other features that have to do with building global meshes of switches. They'll let you build broadcast networks across um, traditional broadcast on-prem networks, cloud networks, mobile networks, edge networks, CDNs, and other places. Very nice. So for people that want more information, what's your website they can go to? Our website's called switch.io, S-W-X-T-C-H.io, and we have a lot of information there. Good. So thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you, Ashley. It's a pleasure.